everybody, and welcome to Northern Lion Plays Tropical 5. Why am I playing Tropical 5 out of all the games out there in this wonderful universe? Because I've been liking it and playing it a lot. So this kind of fills the city builder strategy hole left by uh, me stopping playing Banished. I decided let's play Tropical 5 instead. We're going to start uh, with Sandbox. We're going to maybe start a new dynasty. We'll start a new character here, and this can be, I don't know, the Durst dynasty. Um, and we'll uh, just create a character. I should point out, there will be sound effects, but no music. Music has caused content ID match issues due to weird licensing on YouTube. That sucks, but once we actually get into the game, there's uh, enough ambient sound effects to kind of carry it here. So, disregard. This is going to be a city builder. We're going to get as far into the game as we possibly can. Damien Durst strikes me as a great name. Um, I'm actually fine with him looking like a mustachioed Owen Wilson as well. Probably, um... That Owen Wilson resemblance is actually striking. What would Owen Wilson's skill be? Altruist grants 2,000 bonus starting money. Celebrity, of course, that makes sense. Four and eight increased by 10%. Um, I'm actually totally okay with this. But what would Owen Wilson's costume be? Yeah, that looks like he could be in a Wes Anderson film right there. That's like the Darj Darjeeling Limited right there. And of course, we will give him... Yeah, I think that army cap is pretty good. Cowboy hat is actually pretty much exactly his costume in uh, the Royal Tenenbaums. All right, so we'll begin. We're going to generate a world here. We can start on uh, Isla de Lago if we want to. But why don't we just go to a generated map instead? It'll be medium size, elevation. Um, sure, hills is fine. Resources adequate. Yeah, adequate's fine. Climate normal. Confirm settings. And uh, yeah, we're going to start in the colonial era. Start with 50, population, everything here, uh, normal, so we'll begin. And it'll take a second to load in here, and then we'll get started. If you've seen my Let's Look At, we're going to be covering a lot of the same stuff early on here. If you haven't seen my Let's Look At, well, this is going to be great, because you're going to be experiencing uh, something totally new here. So let's pause for a second. Very, very quick primer on what's going on in Tropical 5, in case you're not familiar. It's a city builder. You play as a dictator of a fictional tropical republic known as Tropico. It starts as a crown colony, which means that we have to talk to our crown uh, governor, basically. We're the governor, but we talk to, like, a liaison that talks to the actual, uh, king. Or queen, depending on where we're being governed by, I suppose. He gives us missions. We try to, basically, maintain good relationships with the crown, while also, um, slowly gaining our independence, which should take place in a few years. Um, well, maybe, like, a decade. This right here is our mandate. When our mandate runs out, we lose. If we manage to declare independence by getting this above 50% before our mandate runs out, we can move to the next era. Let's begin. All right, start with our first Greetings, tasks here. Old chap, have I got a deal for you today? As crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Typically, uh, you have the option to buy a trading license. I've never bought the platinum package. Gives you additional trading offers. It could be worth it. But I'm just going to buy a trade license from the Dutch. It costs way less money, but it does hurt crown relations. But that's okay. Uh, let's see what our town looks like to start with here. Um, sorry for the janky kind of camera work. What do we have? Um, we have a pig ranch. We have construction office, a teamster's office. Those are important. We have no plantations. So that's definitely going to be what we handle next. We really only have pigs? Okay, well, first things first. We could probably trade these pigs away. Can we? No, okay, well, we'll get a trading contract a little bit later. Let's see what our task His is Majesty as well. He needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. All right, so we need to build a cash crop. We're going to build a sugar plantation. That's in raw resources. Plantation, sugar, and... Uh, you know what? This place is actually pretty well suited for a sugar plantation, all things considered. There is, uh... A greenish area right here. Basically, the, you know, red is bad. Don't build your sugar plantation underwater. Um, yellow's okay, and, and green is really good. So if we build it, like, right here, and then just very quickly connect that via a road, we should be fine to get started here. And even if you're, you're watching this, and uh, as of right now, you're like, I don't understand what's happening in Tropical 5. Trust me when I say that you will figure it out pretty quickly if you've ever played a city builder before in your life. This is us, Damien Durst, the Owen Wilson uh, lookalike. If he is a manager, his hotel's effectiveness is increased by 10. We won't have to worry about that as we get started here, because the first issues in the game um, are, are very, very simplistic. Um, you know, we, we don't even have that much in the way of technology that we can actually deal with. Let's take a quick look at our population here. We have seven unemployed. Plantation employs eight, so that's going to be perfect. We have one unassigned manager. Is that us? Are we the unassigned manager? 
Or do we? Oh, we have a money grubber. Increases budget by 5%. Stolen money goes to Swiss bank account. Let's uh make our... Wait, what do you... Can't be serviced. No Just road connection to a Teamster's to office. Okay, I'm just going to take some money here. Disregard that. Because um, we've now finished that. But I, I didn't realize that our dock was not actually connected via a road. That will actually be way better now. So, um, let's quickly get a... Are you still telling me there's no road here? Oh, what... No, that's, yeah, okay, it just took a second to figure itself out. Um, let's put a manager here, and this will be a money grubber. This will start to float our Swiss bank account a little bit, which we can use a little bit later. That's our personal funds. progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. All right, so we're going to build a library. That is our condition there. And basically, this is just going through the motions to start with. You know how in Civ 5, you always, you know, you start and you have a specific build order. This is basically just dictating that build order for us, which is actually kind of nice because, you know, it means that you're not going to forget anything. Building a library is super important because you need uh, people that will actually... Um, research things so you can actually advance your population. So our overall goal here is to grow our uh, grow our republic or grow our colony right now while also making uh, our population happy. And when they get happy and there's revolutionary support, we'll be able to declare independence from the crown, which is what we want to do. How's our happiness right now? Um, overall happiness, 19. That's not very good. We want to raise this religion happiness by building like a Catholic mission. We want to raise entertainment happiness by building a temple. And apart from that, we'll just increase the budgets for our buildings so people are happier with their jobs and can actually, you know, buy things. For now, do we have any other trading contracts that are all right? Because I, I should be able to sell sugar, you'd think. Um, we don't get milk from the pig farm. Surely not. Can't see. No, it gives us meat. I mean, that makes sense, of course, but um, now the ships come in, they'll usually b bring uh, people as well as uh, money, and they will take some of our goods and replace those with, uh, uh, with, with cash, capital that we actually need to get started. So we actually have some educated workers here, much to my surprise. Let's research, um, well, I was gonna, I normally research the shovel first to allow us to open a mine, but it doesn't really look like we have many mining uh, opportunities right around us. So instead, we might actually research, um, to start with, the sickle, which will give us some upgrades for our farms. But for now, what else do we need? We could build a tavern or something like that. You know, we could get started like that. But uh, I think instead, I'm going to raise the budget for my... Um, oh, the crown just sent us a bunch of money, too. I'm going to raise the budget for our dock. This will mean it only takes five months for ships to come to us instead of six months, which is going to, uh, you know, add up considerably over time. His Majesty has commissioned the finest architects to design his new underwater home. We need your cash crops to pay for them. All right, so we need to export 3,500 sugar. This is fine, because we were going to do that anyway, in all honesty, so... Um, that's not really that much of a problem. What we do want to do is probably create more jobs. Do we have people... We have one unemployed, six open jobs. That will kind of naturally just mean that people will come over to our... Uh, come over to our island because there's jobs over here and, you know, opportunity. But we might want to build some country homes or country houses in the residential area here. And what this will do is... Uh, if we just rotate these into maybe a more s suitable position here. What this will do is uh, give people a place to settle. And when they settle, um, each one can hold four families. Four families, you know, you gotta think that that's like 16 people per house or something like that. That's kind of crazy, but um, we need population to, to keep growing and to give us a, a fighting force to eventually fight off the uh, colonials. So that's okay. So we're gonna start exporting some of the sugar. This is a ship that basically comes from uh, the, the crown to pick up some of our goods and then sell them. We can also do a second trading contract. I just haven't found one that I really kind of like here. Um, so we're not gonna do that just yet, but I probably should. Maybe that represents a rudimentary um, misknowledge of the way that the game actually works. Now we have 64 people, so our population has grown drastically. We need I jobs for these people. In your office, Governor. Is written by Conrad Marx, and it has some interesting ideas on how we should build our society. All right, so she wants us to build a new cattle ranch. What did I just say like 10 seconds ago? We need jobs. Might as well build a cattle ranch. Um, is there a good place for it? Yeah, you know, it's not amazing over here, but it seems all right. So we'll build a cattle ranch. This will give us something more that we can uh, export as well, and this should get built uh, pretty darn quickly here. And you can see my popularity starting to grow. 
But there's no rush. We got a lot more research to do, a lot of a lot of stuff to get done. Let's actually take a trading contract now. Um, was there not? There was one for milk recently. We could export fish, but we don't really have many. So I think you know, in addition to building this uh, this ranch, I may build a wharf, uh, which will give us another four jobs, and it's relatively cheap to build. And we'll just rotate this down here. Um, I'm always wary about buildings that. Go in the water requires a specific marine deposit. Oh, maybe we very specifically need to have discovered fish in our area. Must be placed on the shore. Okay, requires a very specific marine deposit. All right, well, my mistake. Unless I've just rotated it wrong. All right. Great news. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see. The glorious future. I love Pen Ultimo. I am happy that he's given us some research. And you know what? Sometimes I don't think he says the same thing absolutely every single time, which is extremely important because after a while you get kind of sick of hearing it. Um, so whenever we do something for the revolutionaries, basically there's two competing factions. You might have already heard this in other Tropico stuff or, uh, you know, in my Let's Look At, but there's two competing factions. Royalists who are, you know, crown supporters and revolutionaries. We need to support the revolutionaries as much as possible so that we can actually um, uh, be declare independence against the royalists eventually. So we're going to take three uh, educated citizens here. We need educated workers for a number of things. But um, for now, we just researched the sickle, which gives us farm upgrades. Let's also research uh, ranch upgrades here. Um, you know what a ranch upgrade is? Pizza. <laughs> uh, I tried. Uh, so for 4,000... We can do fiber fertilization on the sugar plant. Sugar plantation, I should say. Increases the effectiveness of all other nearby plantations and hydroponic farms by 10. That seems pretty bad because I don't have any nearby plantations or uh, hydroponic farms. Sometimes the, the camera acceleration with the mouse gets me a little funky here, but that's okay. Uh, we have 8 unemployed, no open jobs. So we should build something that will give people uh, some work. And I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world. Can we seriously not export, really? Mm. I think we should build another plantation. And we will build a plantation for... Uh, sorry, we were already there. We'll build a plantation for, perhaps, tobacco. Uh, there's not really a great place close by. What about coffee? Pretty good. Um, bananas? Not even close. Cocoa? Not even close. Corn? You know, everybody needs corn. Everybody needs to eat. All right, this seems like a reasonably good location for a corn plantation here. And we'll just rotate this down like that. And that's going to be another eight jobs. That'll make people uh, happier with their, their lot in life, I would say. We've almost completed our crown mission as well, which we'll probably use to give us a mandate extension at this point. You know what? Let's take a trading contract. Um, I don't want to import corn we can export cotton? Yeah, sure. I mean, if we can export cotton, why wouldn't we export cotton? Let's do that. 20000 or 18000 Let's take the highest possible offer. Hopefully that'll bring in a lot more money. So I think things are going just fine right now. Could be better, could be worse. But um, we're, we've got the very, you know, infancy of our situation going here. Eight people unemployed means that Someone we should... Um, so that's our ranch upgrades. Eight people uh, unemployed means this plantation should put us in a very good position. Now the ranch upgrades are unlocked, maybe we want to upgrade, uh... His Royal oh. Majesty okay, I'm gonna take... I'm not gonna take the mandate extension, actually. You know what? I'm gonna take the treasury subsidy here. For your we already got the mandate extension, so we're up to, like, three years, which is where I like to be, basically. Um, but the, the gold will be more worthwhile. So let's pause it for a second here. We have no people to work here. That'll change in a second. Uh, do we want to upgrade this plantation? Selective breeding effectiveness increases each month after this upgrade is built. Sure, I'm okay with that. Do we want to build our upgrade on this? Effectiveness of nearby plantations is increased by 10. I don't really like that one. What about on this pig ranch? Effectiveness is increased by 10, or sorry, by 20, but job quality is decreased by 10. Maybe eventually we'll use this, but we don't want to use it right now because I want job quality to be as high as possible so this happiness or public approval rating goes up, which is tied to our happiness. All right, uh, we finished research. We should, should research maybe a uh, lumber mill next. And how many people are unemployed? Eight, with six open jobs. All right, so they'll start to work there. We want to build some more stuff. Uh, there's not really a huge forest around us, so we might want to build... Um, I mean, I, I kind of want to build like a lumber mill, 
but maybe like over here is the best case or maybe right over here and then we can start producing planks and stuff like that which is basically just an export I don't think you actually end up using those planks to build buildings or anything like that we still don't have everybody working here which is kinda crazy to me maybe we've actually killed unemployment no they, they just don't wanna work on the farm I guess that's okay I really love when you get like sunset in this game it looks so good okay 70 population we have open jobs is there an overlay that shows us like housing Current pollution, beauty, crime, safety, electricity, liberty, now. Okay. So, I just want to see if maybe we need more country homes, and it seems like we do. Basically, we're trying to encourage a high population right now. Not too high, but high enough that, uh, you know, we, we get a population that can support some higher order buildings and then make our townspeople happy. Happier, I should say. So, maybe we'll wait for the next ship to come in. And that will be uh, the last thing that we accomplished in our first episode. But I think things have gone pretty well so far. If you're comparing this to Banished, this is much less about survival and much more about progress. Which is not to say that Banished isn't about progress. Just seeing if there's a ship coming in somewhere. Because it is. It is about progress. But um, it, it's more about getting through the phases of the game because they're so distinct. Like once we get out of this colonial era, we'll enter the World War era. Start having to deal with foreign relations and stuff like that. Building embassies, choosing whether we want to be on the Axis or the Allies. After that, we get to the Cold War. It's really unique, and I'm excited to see that stuff. And the easiest way for me to see it is definitely to uh, cover it in a video series like this. So hopefully we'll have population on here. It, does, it looks like they're just going to be a straight-up like import ship, but what do you have? Comrade Governor, the more I read the works of Comrade Marx, the more sure I am that our revolution must be a socialist revolution. All right, I mean, we can do that. I'm going to research that technology anyway, so it just seems to make sense. One thing we may want to build is um, some guard towers or like a military fort. What am I researching right now? Oh, planks, right. Hmm. Well, um, we still have two unemployed, so you know what we can do? Let's build a, uh, a military guard tower quickly. And this will really help us out, we'll put it like right here. This will really help us out when we declare independence, if we choose to declare mil uh, independence from like a military standpoint. But it also uh, hires two more, well, it, it gives two more people jobs, which will put us in a very sustainable position to end the episode, I think. Freedom will never simply be given to us. We must take it by force. We need to train our own soldiers. Soldiers that are ready to fight and die for our homeland. Alright, so basically she's having us research the trigger, which is just another um, building, essentially. But we've got to wait for our existing research to end. I want more people, though. I would like it if more people showed up. That's 0% done. We can support more population, for sure. How many homeless are there in our city right now? Seven? Well, that seems silly to me. Why don't you just move into some of these uh, country homes? Maybe that's an overly simplistic view of the homelessness problem. President, as you know. It is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. Alright, perhaps it is time to consider adding another member to your dynasty just to be on the safe side. You have around 53 cousins. We'll need some sort of a test to narrow that number down a little bit. Do you have any ideas? Arm wrestling, singing, or synchronized swimming? Let's take singing competition. As the air was born, all Alright, so we got, a, we got an air there. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. Let's go with, uh, we'll, we'll make our air a magnet. I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation, but, um, fucking magnets, how do they work? Well, they reduce mining and oil deposits, uh, being s the rate at which they're uh, depleted by 10%. That's really good. And sure, you know, casual suit, this person is okay. Clemente Durst. Perfect. Uh, and they'll basically basically become another manager that I can use. Um, select our existing person here. They'll become another There's manager that I can use to, to manage some buildings here. So, uh, their mining deposits are reduced 10% slower. What is the manager effect if I, like, make them the manager of our, uh, of our plantation, for example? Um, okay. Mining and oil buildings effectiveness increased by 10 so until we get mining, there's really no point in using them as a manager. His Majesty find your All right, so this guy is basically like research the sickle. Since I've already done that, that just works out for me. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, ten fresh colonists because I want more population. And in the meantime, let's build uh, just a couple more country houses here. I, I'm worried about getting like a population explosion, but at the same time, I think we can handle it. So now that this ship is leaving, and what is it? Three, 
two months till our next ship. I'm going to call it quits for the first episode of Tropical 5. I hope you're enjoying it so far. On the next episode, we'll probably close in on declaring independence and moving into the next era of the game, but it might be an episode or two before that actually happens. Since this is the first episode of a new series, I encourage you, if you enjoyed the episode, to click the like button. Helps out an enormous deal when it comes to the success of these series. Uh, and, uh, of course, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Tropical 5. There'll be videos every single day for the near future, and I'll see you next time. We called it.